what's up y'all thank you for stopping by my channel be sure that you like share and subscribe hit that notification bell down below if you're interested in any of our extended tea talks or any of our uh, dream entrepreneurship webinars or our book club by chance go over to our warrior community which is available on patreon and you will be able to get all of that tea talk there so hope everyone is doing well uh get your water get your wine get whatever it is that you sipping on bitch bring it closed okay i'm not gonna tear it too long I ain't gonna tear it too long, but you know, we family at this point, so I think I should be able to just chill a little bit. So, I want to come and have a tea talk with y'all today, okay? I want to have a tea talk about something that's very interesting. I'm pretty sure we all have done this before. However, we have not really paid close attention to what it is that we are asking for. Knowing that nine times out of ten, we, we don't really know if we're going to take to it or if we're going to want to discard it. But what we need to talk about is something that is not really thought about. We really need to talk about bland manifestations. And what I mean by bland manifestations is, have you ever said, you know, you wish that you had this or you wish that you've had that. And then suddenly you get to experience it and taste it. And in the beginning, it may have been something that, you know, you, wow, you know, dream come true, manifest, uh, manifestation come alive, uh, one on one. But ultimately, once that thrill and that that intro high comes down it's just like there's no there's no excitement you know a wise man once told me once a guy gets what he's chasing after and he gets it that's it you know once he experiences it he moves right along to the next so that's much like how we look at our manifestations we want we ask for what we think we want and then once we get it we have experienced it we've had it for a little while we've run it crazy like a rag doll and then we just you know we sit there and we're just like well you know what i'm saying it's, it's no longer what it's cracked up to be yeah because that's a bland manifestation you want something you're not sure is for you. So, you you know, the universe gives you an opportunity to taste it and experience it. Then it's just like a toy in the corner after Christmas. Like, uh, I don't want to do it no more. Okay. Well, you need to realize within that bland manif uh, manifestation, there's two things you need to learn. For one, well, sidebar, side note, not everything we ask for, we really, we don't really need. So all these larger than life type expectations they're cute in the head but when it comes down to what it takes to sustain and and maintain these things it's a whole headache it is a whole headache so when we realize this by the time we realize this guess what we didn't ruin our credit we didn't ruin relationships with people that we suddenly realize after going through this that ego pride trip the third you realize you real you ruined some some relationships you corrupted some relationships and um nine times out of ten there's certain things about yourself you took for granted or you auction off to the lowest bidder all because their words had the most impact at that time on your vulnerability so when we go and we manifest all these bland ass things that we want, we realize that they're not what they are uh, kept up to be no more than it's a thing of us wanting to keep them after a while. Cool. Cool. Some of us can rise above that. Some of us have to climb from that. And then there's some of us that don't do nothing after that. But this is what you need to learn. Okay, the lessons will show you what you don't want. So if you're not a person, you know, you were a person in the beginning that's like, oh, you know, I, I you know, I love someone that has this, you know, aggressive demeanor about them to realize that that shit does not end well. And I'm, I'm talking to all the ones out there that know exactly what I'm talking about. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. No more than if you go into the opposite end of the spectrum, they can wear a suit and tie all day. But that don't hide the demeanor underneath their clothes. It's going to be the same. 
Okay, you know what I'm saying? Some people know how to disguise it. Some people just don't care. And they want you to see all because it's easier for them to feel entitled. We'll, we'll do another video on that. You know what I'm saying? People who just flat out will tell you like, well, look, I'm doing all these other things. You know what I'm saying? I'm messing around. I'm doing this, that, and the third. They'll tell you up front all the conniving and, and things that normally you don't want they'll tell you about them up front and then they'll make it your decision or your call if you want to deal with them what do you mean the bland manifestation in this is hmm you gonna tell me up front everything that is the opposite of what I want but you're gonna ask me and put it in my corner if it's something that I want to entertain now listen, you this dude just told you what it is that you don't want. He pretty much gave you the details of that's who he is. Now, do you still want to be bothered with me? That's a lesson. Hear me again for the third time. If someone comes to you and tells you all of the traits of who they are, and they are not parallel to what it is that you want to deal with, they're telling you right up front, I'm this, I'm that. You Did you experience this? Did you experience that? You experience everything he's telling you he is. And you have to decide if you want to deal with this person or not. That is a lesson. That's a bland manifestation. But it's a lesson. Because if you choose to continue to deal with the same old, same old, you get the same results or worse. It don't get better. So you have to realize the lessons in these bland manifestations. And we all do it. It's okay. We all human. I'm human. We all do it. We all say, well, we want someone that's like this. We want someone that's good in bed. We want someone that can make us feel like this. And guess what? That, that fool that's good in bed is good in bed with everybody. That person that can make you feel good can also make you feel like you are less than if you are not up to par for what they set your pedestal to be. Not one that you have for yourself. When you have it for yourself, that bland manifestation of you testing who I am as if like material or the outside is called make me beautiful on the inside. That's a, that's a lesson in a bland manifestation. Who are you really becoming? Or are you allowing something else and someone else to mold you? <coughs> Think about it. You learn from your lessons what to overcome. And with your lessons, you know how it is that you're going to rise above certain things. Understand, growing pains is going to hurt. But you know, it's still going to be for the better that you decide to move forward. It's the same thing with bland manifestations. It teaches us what we need to know so we're able to move forth. And it's a learning process for us all because in order for us to know what will make us happy, we have to know what it is that is, is, is not parallel. You feel me? Someone that's disrespectful knowing that you're a lady you're not going to take someone that's not going to disrespect. You're not going to take someone that's going to disrespect you if you've already been disrespected. As you move on with your growing pains, you come into a, a, a place where your manifestations become a little bit more detailed. And they become detailed with the fact of this is what I'm going to allow because this is what I can deal with and tolerate. Not so you don't have you don't sit there and highlight, oh well, you know, the last guy was rude and mean and nasty to me. That just gives that other person an opportunity to be the opposite just for a little while, just to suck you in. And then after he done hauled off and got you in the cobweb, all hell breaks loose. And now these bland manifestations of this person that you want is now a person that you regret knowing, speaking of, and putting out there that that is something that you won't so I thought that was a really good uh, conversation I had with someone in the warrior community about how to pretty much press for after you know something does not happen that you thought should have ended your way and the best thing that I told her was it just sounded as if like it was a bland manifestation you wanted this you wanted that you wanted this person 
you had all these things written down on this sheet of paper about what do you what it you know what you wanted um you know you you got to understand when when we do things like that we don't really know who we are really um potentially have come our way and like i told her i i told her i said look <laughs> The very first, the first thing that had my ears dinging was the fact of she was like, "Yeah, I had on a paper that I wanted him to be good in bed, girl. If he good in bed, you him good in bed with everybody. So you can go ahead and scratch that one off your list as a doozy, cause ain't no way, ain't no way. I be damn, ain't no way. And then for everything else, you know what I'm saying to pretty much just be intricate details for her to realize." now that she's becoming older what it is that she really has to you know pay closer attention to realize if it's good for her or not um versus how she used to date like i told her like girl you're not in high school no more you know you know you're not a prince or no princess anymore you're a whole queen okay so you're gonna have to realize when it comes down to how you date you don't date the same and you don't go out and get to know people the same it comes to a point in time you have to elevate your mindset to elevate your relationships and part of elevating your relationships is you taking lessons from them bland ass manifestations of what you wanted realizing what you had and what you went through to keep and sustain and maintain what it is you had on this list about what you wanted now now ain't what now is not what it's all cracked up to be yeah that bland ass manifestation came to life because it was a lesson that you had to be taught not everything we ask for is something that we want but what it is that we don't want we can show enough figure it out is how it is that we can move forward knowing that we can entertain more of what we like than whatever it is that we can settle for. That's pretty much what that was. So, y'all tell me what y'all think down below. Be sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below so that way you get to know when we have all of our tea talks. If you're interested in our uh, warrior community, there is a link in the description down below where you can join us. We will be happy to welcome you and I will talk to y'all on the next tea talk. The depths of the media sees no evil. Buildings crashing 9-11, no sake for the people. Children take to everything. Others willing to feel anything just to say they were there. Boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, domestic violence. Do you care? When the curtains close, your head hangs low. You're wishing someone was there. Just turn to me for relief. I know how you feel. I am you. You are me. We share symptoms of the black sheep. Aren't you aware? This image, I remember howling winds. Nice trying to hustle to so 10 degrees. Ash on my knuckles. Coke in my long jaw, sipping on the brisk. A tall glass of liquor, clicker, please. We get a sip of this. Coke in my long jaw, slave to the sin. Call me young coke, there the cops try to frisk. I may get a grip, I may get a grip. Slap in twenties, lots of tails, some shrimp. I used to bump rain all day as a pit. Now I'm past Wayne Drake and going in.